have fun here. We have fun here. I hope everyone is having a great day. Uh, we're raising Sega Awareness, playing a bunch of fun games here. Uh, we have Bonanza Brothers. How are you doing, Cronoon? I'm pretty good. I just woke up. I am ready <laughs> to, to get this over with. <laughs> That's good. You're on. You're you're uh, you're scheduled for the next while. <laughs> All right. Can't wait. I'm actually I'm pretty ready and excited to keep going. That's good. I really like this game. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. game is uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's kind of a lesser-known uh, classic on the Sega Genesis. Um, it will kind of explain itself, but it's kind of like a weird stealth game. Um, and there's like two different planes that you go back and forth. I can't think of a game that's kind of like it. Um, well, there's a few, but at least like, I don't know. It's, it is pretty it, unique. And it's it, meant for co-op, so that's going to be cool. It gives me... Um, Oh, what's that game? Oh no. Rolling Thunder. Almost Rolling Thunder vibes in terms of dodging and trying to shoot people and although it's a little more stealthy, it's very interesting. Hmm. I like this game. Yeah. That's is Chubbis is Chubbis in, in the room yet? Uh <laughs> no, I still have to start the timer, so we Oh, go. okay. okay. Well, well uh, I can count you down. Well, the thing is, I have to hit the timer here and then run to the other room. So that I have it set to be minus 10. <laughs> so we're going to test my running skills here. But I'm going to go okay. ahead and do that. All right. All right. Ready? Go ahead. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Good luck, friends. Oh, boy. Did he, did he deafen himself? Am I, am I doubled again? All right. Okay. Uh,. Dude, where go. where are go. we now? What? Go! I said 10 seconds. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> where are we? Also, I can't hear it come. Wow. Whatever. Okay. No, I got it. Wow. So this is couch co-op because both of our players are in the same house. Uh, very exciting to get some good couch co-op. Um, like, uh, like they said, this is an arcade classic, uh, where you, you try and steal as much as you can and get to the end. Also, couch co-op, it's perfect because both people are scheduled to be working tech. Only Chubbis would schedule himself to work tech and also run a game in the other room at the same time. Chubbis, uh, he likes to put on a, a lot on his shoulders. <laughs> That's right. Whew. I'm gonna admit, we haven't practiced this in a while, so it's like, okay, I have to remember every single one of these stages from the get-go. <laughs> it's actually a very punishing game. Um, like we can we'll be able to finish it if like we die or, and stuff but like in terms of speed uh <laughs> yeah we have it pretty optimized actually so even little tiny mistakes we reset at now yeah um if you notice the last stage i killed myself and that has to do with uh the fact that you don't actually have to be with your partner at the end um as long as you ha all have the treasures and uh you have one person at the staircase to go past to have the check that you're together, then the other person can die. Um, and there are two places we do that in. Okay, good. This yeah, stage what, doesn't change. <laughs> yeah, we got we've gotten pretty good at this stage. It looks way more like it. Mandatory casino stage. All right, this one's met, right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> this is a. Uh, wow. Pretty easy stage for me, but a pretty difficult stage for Chubbis. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of difficult optimization you can do here. Yeah, it looks like he got past the worst of it. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. I lost maybe like seven frames. Woo. <laughs> All right, so I have a little extra time here. I'm just gonna kill these dudes, or knock them out with like a BB gun, however you please, and then we just uh, leave. Actually, this seemed pretty fast, actually. That yeah, wasn't bad. 
don't have the audio key, so I don't know. Let me turn on the audio. Oh, whoops. Thank you. Yep. So there's a little echo I just turned on the, the TV volumes so Chevis can hear. Should be fine. Slower strats that are bit, whoops that are a bit safer. Uh, there's definitely much better strat to do there, but I couldn't learn it in time. What would you try to do if you could? Um, so instead of shooting the guys uh, one by one, it's just going all the way around them, uh, each one working around their uh, the way they turn left and right, and it requires like a really specific jump into that little nook in the center. It's that jump in particular that's like pretty hard because if you miss it, then you're going to just like balk against the wall and then you get stuck there and then they see you. And then once they see you, that throws everything into chaos! Once we get this like super optimized, we're gonna have to like actually come up with lag, anti lag strats. But messed around with the timing a little bit. Haven't found anything so far. Yeah. Unfortunately. Wow. Like I might. I don't know if I can like kill a few dudes so that can save a little bit of time. Lag. Ah oh, shoot. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. It is fine, but just it's a little scary for me though. A little spook. Oh god. Yeah, that's not good. Oh no. Yeah, it's pretty rip. Yeah, that would definitely be a reset. <laughs> that guy's cycle is entirely tied to how fast we both get down there. So he, he alert, alerted them and I wasn't there quick enough, basically. Wow, wow. Alright, I guess I should move a little sooner. There we go. But yeah, usually he gets here a lot quicker than me. Yeah, in fact he actually kills himself on this stage. Yeah. Well, no, I kill myself. I do take a death there on that stage normally, and I still end up faster. Oh, shoot. Wow. I don't know if this is gonna work. Wow. I believe. That's a pretty difficult trick. Wow. a difficult part of the stage. So this is where I'm gonna die. <sighs> okay, okay. Gonna take a few deaths here. 
Yeah, this is one of those death strats because uh, there's a bit of a dead end here. Wow. Yeah, with the route that I go on, um, it'll take me a long time to catch up to him. So it's just quicker for me to die. Alright. Okay, so I'm ready to die. <laughs> just gotta wait for him to get to the end. And... There we go. So, like that, the stage is finished. And he's gonna have to do the same thing on the final stage. Here. Which is this. And also, I have zero lives, so this is gonna be a little scary to do it optimally. I think I still have lives, so. Or continue. Oh god. Wow. I forgot what changed this. Wait, is this the final stage? Yes. Um, okay. I will. I will mention when time's coming up. Yeah, get rid okay. of the time, man. <laughs> Chubbis, you got- oh no, Chubbis! <laughs> he was thinking about the time. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well now he's just gonna be chilling at the end while I do the rest of this. <laughs> but ideally, I don't take any damage, or one- I might as well go up. Yeah, I guess yeah, I might. Alright, just, just yell when the time is. Okay, I'll yell. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. This is perfect. Oh, wait, actually, don't do it now. You have to click on it and press J. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to behind the scenes of Blast Process. And time, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Hey. GG. Okay. <laughs> Let me go fix everything. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Jovis. <laughs> that was fun. What fun we have here. That was a great run of Bonanza Bros by Cronin and Jovis. Sure. Couch co op. I guess that was a stop button. Dang, I don't know his controls. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you all did it in negative 10 seconds. It's incredible. Yeah. I mean, all those deaths, you just kind of go back in time. It's a pretty awesome strat. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very fun run. Thank you, uh, Cronin. Is there any anything else you all want to say about this? Well, you specifically, because Jarvis is now back in his spot. Is there anything you'd like to say about this run before we move on to the next one? Um... Well, it's this is a pretty hard game, um, but it's a lot of fun. If you've never heard of this game and it looks interesting, please just play it. It's a very quick game, too. Uh, the single-player board is also kind of small, so not a very active game. But it is absolutely worth playing um, if you're willing to master this game. Um, it is hard. It's harder than it seems, but just the way that you move around enemies and like already the, the controls are very responsive, and it just feels really good. It's a very rewarding and satisfying game, so I definitely recommend giving this a shot. Yeah, so if you all want to check it out, definitely do that. If you want to do co-op, uh, convince someone else to live with you. That sounds easy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank, thank you so much, uh, Cronoon and Chavis. Thank you for the incredible run. Don't go anywhere, friends. Our next run is Streets of Rage. We have the Streets of Rage block going through the entire, what's the term, quintology, or is that five? Uh, that would be quad quadrology. Yeah. Quadrology. We're go we're going through four games. <laughs> It'll be great. Don't go anywhere, friends. We'll be right back.